So, 10, we got to get back to zip with the drip. So, Rikers had a building. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong here, but Rikers had a building, ARDC. And unless zip with the drip was in ARDC at 15, he wasn't actually there. That's where, like, all the badass youngins would go. Can a 15-year-old even be housed in Rikers, 10? No. No. And he didn't say he was 15. He said he was 13 years old. So he said he lied, that he told him he was 16, and he sipped in the Rikers Island, right? Now, look, you got to listen to the story. People don't listen. He said he went to Rikers Island. He'd never been upstate before. He'd never been no prisons, DFY, or nothing. All he'd been in was a group home in which he was in at the time of his arrest at 13. He goes to Rikers Island at 13. Now, he's already small now at 40 plus. So imagine how he looked at 13. He really was still in his mouth suit. He really looked like a little rat. So he's on Rikers Island at 13. You got guys that's on the island at 17, 18. See this little dude come through. He got shit on. They robbing him. They beat him up, take his shit. He goes down and says, I told the police everything. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm really 13 years old. Them guys, I never got beat up like this before. When I was upstate, DFY, this and that, stop right there with the story. When you was upstate in a DFY, you never been to jail before. You never been to DFY or upstate yet. You only 13. So you got to listen to the story. This motherfucker is lying. He's lying. He never been upstate, never been to DFY at 13 years old, man. That was the first time he ever been in a can, ever. At 16 years old, you can go to Rikers Island, 17, 18. He was 13, man. He claimed to be 16. That's how he ended up there, so he says. But I can not believe he was there because the shit that happened to him, they robbed him, beat him up. And he went and told that he went to PC. So can a 15-year-old be held at ARDC? And that is also a part of the Rikers facility, right? If I'm not mistaken? Yeah, C-74. So oh, in essence... You ain't going to be well, held over there. No, damn 15, you're going to spoff it. Right, that's what I was trying to get into. You know, like, in essence, what I'm really trying to say is technically... Um, a 15 year old can be housed at Rikers. True or false? False. So, unless you want to elaborate on that any other anymore, I want to. Unless the only way you're going to be there if you're 15, 13, 14, if you lie about your age. If you say you're 16 and you're really 14. 13. That's how you're going to be on Rikers Island. You know, Zip with the Drip has a funniness and a toughness to him. And I can see why Hassan Campbell steals his slogans. You know, I can see why. It's because Zip with the Drip has a little more going for himself than Hassan. When Zip talks, he comes off a little bit more believable than Hassan. Hassan, yep. he rubs people the wrong way. But Zip is likable in a different way. He's kind of wacky and unpredictable. What do you think? Yeah, Zip is definitely different. I said that too myself. I said, yo, you, you, you. I told him that. I said, yo, you're a funny dude. You got a vitality. Your whole aura, your body language, you funny. Look funny. You got the big ass beard. Your eyes look spooky. You in there on the couch with a lamp and a cat. Like, yo, who the fuck? You would think somebody, you would think he made that up. But that's really him. So you're like, damn, this dusty, gloomy, in the dark, living motherfucker. He remind me of the, you ever, you ever heard of the East Side Crackhead? No, I have not. No? Oh, man, you got to, you got to go, go, on your, after this, go on your Instagram and, and on your YouTube, the East Side Crackhead. He'll remind you of him. He just likes it. I think Zip be stealing some of his shit, too. The Eastside crackhead is funny as shit. He a dude from Harlem, straight crackhead, but he official because you know he can get money. He really can blow up, but he just choose to be out there smoking crack. 
he just chooses to smoke crack, and he'll tell you. Like when I see him, I be making little videos up. I ain't never put him on my channel or nothing, but he definitely a funny dude, and he's a straight crackhead. Oh wow! And you said that zip with the drip is like the East Coast crackhead, the East, East Side, crackhead. East, Side East Side crackhead. Hell yeah! Everybody know the East Side crackhead. He's just like Zip. They they oh, they man. split an image of one another. You got to do a video on that. I could get, I could do a video with him with Eastside Crackhead. I just gotta catch up with him because he everywhere. You gotta get when you a Harlem, he's so in here, pop up out of nowhere and be like, "I get you can't, I bet you can't hit me with a quarter." <laughs> you need to go shoot like twenty shorts with him, imitating Zip. Yeah, yeah, but, um, yeah. So let's talk about the murder charge. Zip with the drip got five years probation for a murder case. Can you for a murder explain case. this thing to me? Well, um, him and his brother had so-called beef with some guy in the neighborhood, Francois. Francois, as he said, threatened to shoot him. He went around the corner, got a gun, came back, shot him in the head, head tapped him, what he call it. After that, they got locked up, him, his brother. And another co-defendant, I ain't going to say his name, but there's a third man that Zip never talks about. And no one ever asks us about him. And I tell people to ask him about that third guy. Zip goes to prison. He says he admits to killing him. He tell him, I gave him, I, I head tapped him. The courts notice. If the courts notice, why is his brother and the other guy still locked up? They got their man. They don't need these other two guys. The other two guys ain't locked up for accessory to murder, was part of it or nothing. They was just, yeah, his brother and the other guy. The outcome of the story is Zip with the Jip gets five years probation for assault. His brother does time for the murder and the other guy does time. Why is that? So, so Zip gets a pass because he was 14 when it happened. No, in New York City, all this, you know, everybody in New York City, 14, 13, 15, catch murders, they be getting their life on the end. Nine to life. Nine to life. That man got five years probation for a murder. Ask him about it, he will cuss you out. I think, Mikey, get, get somebody. You know a lot of people. Just tell somebody going to this conversation say, yo, Zip, my son is locked up for murder right now. Could you tell me how to get him out? Because I heard you had got five years probation for it. <laughs> and see what he say. So I bet you he won't talk about that murder case. So if a gun was involved, that's a deadly firearm. You know, I don't know many individuals with lawyer money that could get a murder down to assault. That's really unheard of to me. I've never seen a dead body become an assault. Look, and that's the same thing I said to Hassan Campbell. Look, you got to look at these stories, Mikey T. They're the same way. Hassan so-called killed three people and beat all three of the bodies. Zip with the drip, killed somebody, beat the body. He got five years probation. Hassan said he went in. He wound up going to jail for an assault. Zip going in, said he had a body. He only get convicted for an assault. Okay, let's knock the murder out. The courts is definitely going to charge you for a firearm, man. You're going to do some time for that. So you got five years probation for a murder and a gun? You better go take your rat CI ass away from me. I'm not believing it. I tell people, since y'all believe him so much, and if you still in the streets, Go do a crime with him. Go do a crime with no mask on. Let him wear a mask and you don't wear one. And see if you get told on. Or you wear a mask and he don't wear it. And see if they figure out what your face look like. But I don't care what you tell me. Mikey T, if it was you and it was you looking at the news and it was John Gotti and Sammy the Bull. And Sammy the Bull got five years probation and John Gotti got Life, you're gonna say Sammy the Bull told on him, he had to. Yep, exactly. You Everybody gonna say, No, you had to tell. You had to tell. You mean to tell me you went 
into the courtroom and said you did this murder and you still got five years probation? How'd you get around that? How did you get around that? He won't tell nobody. You were the lookout? Huh? He must have said he was the lookout. No, you... no, he didn't say he was the lookout. He said he you did it. You wouldn't even get five years if you were the lookout. You wouldn't yeah, even you get wouldn't five even years get... probation yeah. if you were the lookout. You would get five yeah. years in jail. Yeah, as a lookout, you're getting five years. But look, look at the case, though. So you get five years probation for a murder. You must have had a real good lawyer. But you get 18 years for a robbery. This shit ain't adding up. It ain't adding up, buddy. How you get 18 years for a robbery, but five years probation for a murder? I don't know. If the glove don't fit, you must have quit. I don't know what he did. Who he had, Johnny Dockman, the fake Cochran. I don't know who he had as his lawyer. And now, look, look, his brother just did 20-plus years, right? His brother, his co-defendant, on a robbery case, on a murder case, his brother's locked up now, today. He only been home for going on two years, but he got another case within one year he was from being released from prison, 20 years plus. You get five years flat? For a robbery and a gun, y'all better stay the hell away from me, man. I don't care what nobody tell me. Y'all was telling before, and somebody stepped up for you, or you telling now still? Get the hell out of here. I don't care what you tell me. I ain't believing it.